Episode 5 The Fate of the Target Are you that willing? Do you know you have a weakness now, and you'll sink deeper and deeper? Are you not afraid? Alfred said seriously, So what? I'll do my best to protect her. Dante said coldly, For some reason, Dante swore his oath. Are you serious? Alfred asked earnestly, What do you think? Dante said in a deep voice, All right, since you like her now, it means that you've forgotten the past. It's like this little girl will become my sister-in-law. I'm so much older than her. It's a bit embarrassing to call her sister-in-law, so I'll just call her Renfrey. Is that all right? Alfred's expression suddenly became very somber. All right, now you can go back if you have nothing else to do. Dante said dismissively. It's like this every time. When I have no value, you chase me away. Alfred said, feeling wronged. However, when he saw Dante's eyes, he immediately shut his mouth. How's your wound? Did it relapse? Alfred suddenly asked. I'm fine. Dante said calmly. By the way, I forgot to tell you. Harold and Tony will be back tomorrow. They asked us to go for drinks. Do you want to go? Alfred asked. Depends on the situation. After Alfred left, Dante went to the guest room to wash up. After taking a shower, Renfrey was lying on her bed, resting. Dante combed his hair and walked out. He saw Zion standing there, respectfully. The two of them went to the study room. Dante sat there and Zion stood in front of him. How is it? I found that Renfrey is the second young lady of her family. However, her mother passed away when she was very young. Then her father brought his lover back and she gave birth to a daughter. However, following their appearance, Renfrey did not have a good life in the Harper family. Helpless, she moved out, Zion said. What else? Dante asked. Renfrey went home today because there was a problem with her father's company. So he wanted to marry her off to an old man, but Renfrey refused. So she ran out of the house. Not only that, but her stepsister also robbed her of her boyfriend. And the two of them are about to get engaged, Zion said carefully. Now, Dante's expression was getting worse and worse. Who is that man? Dante asked coldly. Zion had followed Dante for many years, so... He naturally knew whom Dante was talking about. He's Ron Astley of the Astley Group, Zion said. <laughs> Since he abandoned Renfrey, I will make her the most dazzling and happiest woman in the world, Dante said. Zion heard what Dante said and knew that he was interested in Renfrey romantically. What should we do next? Zion asked. I want to ask Renfrey about this. Dante said. Yes. Zion nodded. Dante looked at his watch and turned to look at Zion. It's already so late, so you should go back and rest first, Dante said. Yes, Zion said before leaving. Dante took out his phone and dialed a number. Hey, according to the size I sent you, make all the clothes of the limited edition brands, including shoes, jewelry, and bags. Send these things to me tomorrow, he ordered. After Dante finished his instructions, he quietly went back to his room. He looked at Renfri, who was lying on the bed, and smiled. The light shining on his golden mask made the gold dragon on the mask look lifelike. Dante lowered his head and looked at Renfri. His eyes were filled with tenderness. Perhaps you saved my life, and you have become my destiny, and I'm also willing to accept this destiny. In the future, I will take care of you and make you the happiest woman in the world, Dante said with deep affection. He lowered his head and slowly kissed Renfrey's forehead. Just as Dante was leaving, Renfrey suddenly spoke in her sleep. Why, why did you tell this to me? Dante held Renfrey's hand. Renfrey, Renfrey, Dante shouted. Please, don't do this to me. I really don't want to marry that old man. Please. I've already moved out for you. Don't come and hurt me again. Renfrey remained asleep, and tears flowed along with her words. Don't be afraid. In the future, I will protect you. If anyone tries to hurt you, I will definitely send them to hell. Dante vowed 
his eyes filled with lethal intent.